What's going on, y'all? Let's get this day started. This is actually the first day since November the 23rd that I felt pretty decent. I've actually got my voice back. I tell you what, this flu has knocked me off my feet worse than anything has. It's been a couple weeks, let's put it that way. I have done hardly anything, which like 10 days i wasn't even able to talk it was just like the last video you seen that was the first day i'd actually got my voice back now it's finally kind of starting to settle back in and sound a little normal it's still a little raspy today's gonna be a busy day for me because we ain't even went to the grocery store much we've got just about enough to live we definitely ain't been eating the greatest in the world. Nobody's felt like cooking. So I may cook something up today. Don't know what I'm gonna cook. First, I'm gonna go out and get breakfast because we have no breakfast food. So I'm gonna pick us up some biscuit and gravy. Like I said, we've just not been to the grocery store to get anything, so there's really not much to cook. There's stuff to eat, but like breakfast, not so much. We've kind of went through all of it. But, like I said, I'll be going to the grocery store later. You know, I could do it now, but I really don't want to, because for one, I really don't know what I want to cook this evening. Two, I have no list. For three, it's 9.30, they stopped serving breakfast at 10, so I really need to, oh, y'all, they want us to pay $2,000 a year in taxes, and they don't even want to fix our roads since the flood. I'm just gonna throw this out there, my cars, are falling apart that our roads are so bad. The Lincoln, I've got to take it in and get four wheel burns put in it because it's destroyed the wheel burns. My truck, all the shocks are shot on it. I think one of my wheel burns is going bad. They won't fix the roads. I don't get it. Like they won't even patch them. I'm to the point, Kentucky just added another tax to our power bill. I know this kind of went off a topic, but I'm just annoyed. Kentucky added another tax to our power bill. Another 6% tax if you have multiple power bills. Well, one of them's our business, and now they're making us pay another 6% on top of that. I'm about to leave Kentucky because it's getting to the point you can't live here. About to go to Tennessee, so much better. I'm, I'm Seriously, I think about it every day about putting that house up for sale and just getting out of here. Kentucky's lost and I'm tired of being a part of it like they don't help the people that live here like I said they've not touched our roads they want tax money but they don't want to do nothing but that's neither here or there I, all right, I, I, oh, it's just so frustrating that it's getting to the point you can't live and I love my home state but the people in charge are a bunch of idiots all of them all of them. Give me three orders of biscuit and gravy, a side of scrambled eggs, four hash browns, and two sides of sausage. Breakfast time, breakfast time. I'm gonna get some food in the belly cause it's breakfast time. <coughs> Hi bud, are you hungry? You need bye bites? Chloe has been highly concerned about sausage. 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 I said yes, sausage. Does baby want some sausage? Are you give me that? You don't need that. You big boy, you don't need a PC. So can I just say something? What? Every day I think about just selling everything and moving to Tennessee. I was thinking more like a last. <coughs> Is that what y'all needed? Mmm. Yeah. Bubba get some sausage? Okay, you guys. Wow, we thought we was over it. We, me, Colton, and Sean are. After I filmed the other day, that very night, Chloe. See, she tested negative when we all went to the doctor two Saturdays ago. All of us was positive, and I thought she had it because she was having symptoms, but no, she finally caught it. The night we put that vlog up, her fever spiked. She actually slept all through the night last night, but she's been feeling rough the last couple of days. She's finally getting a little better. Yes, baby. It's been mommy, 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 mommy. <laughs> I just refilled the pull-ups and diapers and he's playing with the boxes. It's grocery shopping day. I've got to clean the refrigerator out. I'll do a little small grocery haul for you guys and show you that. It's also shampoo my carpets day. Get this house reorganized a little bit. I got going and then boom, had another little one get it. So I was 
pretty much the plaster to the couch because she just wanted to be held. She didn't feel good. So the house can wait. Time to get back in the flow of normalcy. I'm gonna put some real clothes on. I've just been washing the top pile of the laundry basket. <laughs> Just the same, like 12 things over, not getting to the bottom, because it's just been easier. So it looks like we've all had, we have had the same clothes on, but I've just been washing that load every, every other day. So time to empty the laundry basket out as well. Hmm. Yeah, that says T, I did that real quick. Can I ask why the shopping list is empty? Well, because it was 60 and the kids wanted to go outside, so we did, because it's been two weeks since we've got to go outside and play. So I guess I'm just winging it at the grocery store, huh? Or you could let me do a list real quick. Or you could just text me a list while I'm on my way and I'll have it when I get there. What? <laughs> How would you like some Sloppy Joe casserole tonight? Ba -ba -ba. That Does that sound good? good? That would... What are you Joe? eating? What you got? Ew. Nah, no. Get off his gummies. Can I have a gummy? No. No. <sighs> You're supposed to teach him to share. <laughs> well, I'm off to the grocery store thinking I'm going to make my Sloppy Joe casserole tonight. Colton and them loves it. Chloe really loves it. You know me. I'm like the king of comfort food. Like My kids love it. Any kind of comfort food meals, like they devour it. We can get other things, and they not so much. Like, you can get steak or something like that, hamburgers. They, they'll nibble, but, like, comfort food, like casseroles and things like that, man, they will sit and eat and eat and eat. They love it. Daddy's just going to have to be the king of comfort food and make them what they like because I like to see my youngins eat. Even though I can't see and I'm blinded, I've got to say... Glad to see the sun shine. It's been a couple weeks since the sun's been out. Been all gray and overcast, rainy. I'm not a winter person, you know. I like 70. If I told little mama, I said, we need to buy an RV and just chase 70. Come back here, spring, summer, going into winter, go somewhere warmer. You get the flu in the winter. Bitter cold. Now here, but today is in the upper 60s, so it's nice. Like right now, my actually my truck says 55. It was 60 earlier. Like we're heading into getting closer to January and February, and those are the months that's just ugh. come up with an idea to make the kids a little. Uh, I've come up with an idea though to make winter a little better this year if we get snow. I was looking at the way we sledded last year, and I want to make it a lot longer and a lot funner and a lot less steep to walk up. So I think it's going to involve some shoveling some snow, moving it around and making my own little track. But I think the kids will enjoy it and I know I'll enjoy it. Like that was one of my favorite things to do when I was little was sled. I mean, when the weather's bad, you got to make the best of it some way. <sighs> this is literally what I get. I'm all the time giving little mama a hard time for getting halfway down the road and forgetting something. Yeah, it was my turn. I forgot my wallet in the car. Got all the way to Food City. Felt for my wallet and it wasn't there. So, yeah, let's go to the store now. Y'all, I'm getting to the point I'd rather be whipped with a switch than go to the grocery store and pack all this stuff in. Thinking about coming up with like a new deal here or something like that, cause uh, this ain't no fun. Listen, I think we're coming up with a new deal. You're going to the grocery store and packing them in, and I'll put the stuff up. Listen, <laughs> I'm thankful you go to the grocery store. What are you doing? They're waiting on food. Are y'all hungry? Lord, I reckon. She's well, as soon as Mommy puts up the groceries, Daddy's going to cook some bite bites. That sound good? So I like don't know if this was me trying to rekindle a little bit of my childhood or whatever because my grandma would buy this every December. Bold custard. Would you guys like to try a sip? No. It's good. Super thick bold custard. Yuck. See, she says yuck, but she drinks almond milk. Didn't know me. You want to try a sip? No. I drink it. It's like vanilla milk. Okay, you guys, let's do this grocery haul really fast because the kids are hungry and Sean's hungry and he's ready to cook. For produce this week, head of cabbage, celery, bell pepper and onion, 
hamburger meat. I'm going to make cabbage soup sometime this week. Um, raspberries, strawberries. We already got blueberries. We got grapes here for um, this evening. I needed the canned biscuits and two blocks of cheese and the butter. Show you guys that later. Freezer stuff. We got some hot wing bites, waffle fries, corn dogs. The kids love the corn dogs. Our favorite bag biscuits and some pizzas to go in the freezer. For meat, breakfast, obviously, we got some bacon and some sausage. I already got little polished sausage over there. But we got eggs. Um, the cheese, like I said, is for this evening. This is for what Sean is going to be making and all this stuff. But snacks, I guess Sean got himself some uh, fudge stripes. I haven't seen those in years. For the kids, we got two different types of goldfish and fruit cups, pasta, soup, crackers, two rolls of dog food for our pug because he is allergic to life. Uh, milk, almond milk for me because I cannot drink regular milk. Coffee creamer, I can drink. I don't know. I can't explain it. Just how it is. Chicken noodle soup for the kids. Sean's 500 cans of uh, Annie's. Apple Jacks for the kids and Cinnamon Toast Crunch for Sean. Probiotic yogurt for the babies. Chloe absolutely love these. Jeez, it's me and Sean some coffee right now. This is our favorite. And that's pretty much it. This was not a big grocery haul. It was just a touch up on things we needed. Oh, is that cereal made you a little froggy now or something? <laughs> <laughs> Going for the puppies. You trying to get the puppies? She goes, she's on one. Are you on a mission? Super simple comfort food meal right here that your whole family's gonna love, guarantee you that. Sloppy Joe casserole. First a couple pounds of ground beef. Some noodles. A lot of cheese. Some Sloppy Joe sauce. An onion. And some petite tomatoes. First, cut up your onion. Some people don't like it when I say onion, so it makes me want to say onion even more. Am I a professional chopper? Absolutely not. I'm a hillbilly from Eastern Kentucky that just cooks for his family. You want a good professional chopper? Go look up Gordon Ramsay or something. I just do it. However, get this onion chopped up, make a mess, get onion everywhere. Pick it back up, just put this on here. Y'all didn't see that. Throw some butter. Well, that bounced. Throw some butter in there. Add the onions and sweat them bad boys off. Nobody likes a raw onion. Go ahead and add your ground beef. Now that you got your meat browned, add your can of that. And add your tomatoes. I about forgot about that. Yep, your petit, 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 petit tomatoes. Now I'm taking my Dutch oven. Yes, I've already boiled my noodles because I didn't think anybody needed any instruction. And add a can of your sauce. And take some of your cheddar cheese. And some of your mozzarella. Add right in there. Get it mixed in with it. And then add your beef mixture. Get it all mixed together. Take the rest of your cheeses. Just like that. And put your lid on it. And throw it in your oven to bake for about 15 to 20 minutes. Well, it looks like little mama jumped the gun and getting his bowls out. Well, is she getting some for the babies? But I gotta let it cool. There it is. Does it smell good? It's easy. Does it smell nummy? There it is, y'all. She, uh, like I said, kind of mangled it before I had a chance to show y'all. But, mmm, delicious, guaranteed. The little ones in your household. Heck, everybody's gonna love it. All right, you guys. It is time to officially shampoo this carpet. Let me show you what I done. When I had a really high fever, we had this little step here. Well, I had Colton on the couch. He had one too. But it was all I had lit up was my tree. And I come through here with a huge cup of Gatorade Nice, and I just stepped off, and it splattered across the carpet. 
Now, I didn't have the energy then. I took a towel, dabbed it up best I could, but it, it is time. This carpet's gotta be shampooed. I can't stand it anymore. My mind, my brain just can't handle it, even if it's not that big of a deal. Y'all, me and Sean both, for some reason, got busting migraines. I mean, it just felt like our skulls were gonna pop. Same time, oddly enough. His hasn't went away yet. I'm still working on mine. But, got the stuff in the shampooer. It's time to get this done. Desperately got to get a haircut. So it's Saturday now. I'm actually currently sitting at the desk getting this video for you all to watch today. It is 12:40. Been working on it most of the morning. We had breakfast, of course. Everybody's in here chilling out. I don't know where Moo Moo is. Dizzy, what are you doing over here in the corner all by yourself? We just got done reading books. I heard you in here. You like that one because it makes noise. That's her favorite cart, Christmas yeah. cart. Oh, really? You yeah, like the Grinch? Yeah. Rawr. Can I ask you a question? How did you like that Sloppy Joe stuff last night? No. Was that good, that skatey stuff? No, no. You, you did. You eat two bowls of it. And he just had some for lunch with me. Yeah. It's better when it's leftovers, ain't it, bud? Tell Daddy, Don't say, we it. still a mess. <laughs> Your poor little nose just had to lick, bud. No. It's about quit running, though, thank God. So now I put some Nesporin on it and let it heal good. That's been the worst part with him is his little runny nose. I think I've got the twin bed and mattress picked out. Car bed? No. That's going to be Chloe's room. We're going to put Colton in our attached room that way, you know. What's that got He's to do little... with the car bed? He... She don't want no car bed. I'm talking about him. He's got a full-size bed. I'm putting the twin in the playroom in her room. But painting that and that bed soon. Don't know when it's gonna be here though, because even Amazon, their delivery time is way out. Ordered a lava lamp three weeks ago. I think it's fine. Some of her shirts for Christmas won't even be here till middle of January. Hi, TC. But that's coming soon. Painting that bedroom and getting the new bed set up. Tell them hi. He said, hi. Say, we're still a mess. This weather has got to give y'all. We ain't seen the sunshine and. Listen, I said it in this video. I want to buy an RV and just chase 70. Yeah. Like, yeah. seriously, we can Mama, go anywhere. What? Titi. Mwah. Oh. Where oh, you oh, going, uh, you little wild child? Oh, you just need that time. Wait, wait. Tell them your, wait. Tell them your new words. Say yellow. Yellow. No. Yeah. Say it. Say yellow. Yellow. Pretty good. good. Pretty good. He's getting there. <laughs> yeah, you about lost your voice on that one. <laughs> she can't. It's making her mad because she can't scream like she usually does. Bruh, guys, we love y'all. And until the next time, stay positive. Stay country. Stay true to your roots. Bye. 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 Bye.